Hello, Reen Schwarzer speaking. Oh, hi there, Reen. Do you have a moment? Toa? Well, this is a surprise. What can I do for you? You've got a new student in your class now, right? Well, her student notebook is ready, so I figured it'd be best to get it to her as soon as possible. And since you handled it last time, would you mind coming to get it for her? Oh, you're talking about Milliam. Sure thing, I'll come get it right away. You want me to swing by the student council room then? That'd be great. She sure doesn't waste any time. I should head on over to the student council room before it gets too late.
door's open. Come on in. Sorry if I disturbed you. Oh, Rain! Not at all. Sorry for making you come all the way out here. Don't worry about it. It's class business anyway. That's quite the spread you've got on your desk there. Is it just me, or does your workload only ever seem to increase? <laughs> uh, well, I've got a little extra going on right now that's keeping me a little busier than normal. Anyway, this is Milliam's notebook. Crow's already got one, along with the added pages on the Arcus units you all have. So she's the last one who needs it. All right, I'll be sure to pass this on to Milliam next time I see her. Actually, if you don't mind my asking, how much do you know about why she's here at the Academy? Hmm, all I know is that she came with a recommendation from the Army's Intelligence Division, really. You know those combat shells you fight in your practical exams? They're being used with the Emperor's authorization. Apparently, it's something similar for Milliam. They can't deny her admission if the Emperor's pushing it through. This goes all the way up to His Majesty? Seems like it. The Chancellor was the one who set up both the Intelligence Division and the Railway Military Police. But neither of those organizations could have been established without His Majesty's consent. That's what's unusual. Anyway, because of that, the Academy can't really turn down a direct referral with that kind of backing. So that's how it is. But even accounting for that, I never would have expected Crow to be transferred into our class too. <laughs> yeah, I was just as shocked as you when I found out. I knew he was a habitual class cutter, but I always figured he at least had enough credits to graduate. Oh, I feel like a failure as student council president for not noticing. Maybe even a failure as a friend. Whoa there, I think you're being a little hard on yourself. What about Angelica? Does she have enough credits to graduate? Angie at least makes sure to attend the classes she needs for graduation. Apparently, Crow not only hadn't attended enough class units, he also didn't turn in some essential assignments. But as long as he's active and engaged with his Class 7 work over the next couple months, he'll be able to graduate. Ah. Still, I get the distinct feeling this one-two punch of transfer students wasn't just a happy coincidence. Am I right? Well, yeah. The principal thought placing Crow in Class 7 might be beneficial for the rest of you, too. His grades might be a sorry sight, but he really knows how to get things done when he wants to. Did you know he was responsible for all of the event planning at last year's Academy Festival? Crow did that? Voluntarily? It might be kind of awkward having a second year student in your class, but I hope you guys will all get along. That goes for Milliam too, of course. She might have an unusual background, but at the end of the day, she's still a 13 year old girl. Yeah, I get what you mean. So she really is 13 then? Yeah, she scored really well on her entrance exam though, so I think she can handle the curriculum fine. <laughs> she might be small, but she can roll up her sleeves with the best of them. <laughs> now where have I heard of someone like that before? Oh, sorry, looks like I've got a call coming in. Go ahead and answer. I wouldn't want you to miss anything important. Uh, all right. Excuse me, then. Hello, Reen Schwarzer speaking. Hello, Reen. It's your favorite instructor here. Are you still on the Academy grounds by any chance? As much as it pains me to say it, I am. <laughs> no need to sound so suspicious. It's just that after I gave Milliam all the things I had for her, she just took off somewhere. You know how she tends to be kind of a mischief maker, so could you find her and drag her back to the dorms for me? <sighs> Alright. I can only imagine what would happen if she were to flash that silver thing of hers around on the Academy grounds again. Yeah, I'd really rather avoid a repeat of yesterday. Anyway, I leave it in your capable hands, brave leader of Class 7. Mwah. Wait a second. When did I become the... <laughs> 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 
She really does trust you. Anyway, I'll let you go then. Are you still up for helping me with a few requests tomorrow? Of course. I'll be around. Still, I know you've got a full slate and all, but try not to overwork yourself. And if there's anything else I can do to make life a little easier for you, don't hesitate to ask. Sure. And thanks.
here. So this is Thor's military academy, huh? I think I'm gonna like it here. Ooh, I wonder what the view from the rooftop's like. Huh? Hmm. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. Just been making myself at home here. C crow What brings you to our dormitory? Well, I am a member of Class 7 now, so I've been given the go-ahead to move into this dorm now. What? Seems awfully sudden. But man, Sharon sure makes some amazing coffee. If I'd had a cup of that, I would have been banging down the door to join Class 7 months ago. <laughs> you flatter me, Master Crow. Would you like me to bring some of the cakes I baked earlier as well? <laughs> Do you even need to ask? Anyway, sorry it kind of came out of nowhere, but it's good to be here. Hmm. Looks like he's already made himself at home. <laughs> so you're gonna be living here too, huh? Yep. Us newcomers have to stick together, right? I just finished hauling all my stuff over from my old dorm. Looks like I ended up in the room right across from yours, Reen. Uh, I see. I can already see things getting a lot more lively around here. Ooh, man. Moving all those things really tired me out. I was hoping I could just stow all my junk in my old room, but Toa wouldn't let me. Of course not. That's just common sense. <laughs> you must be pretty exhausted. Well. I suppose now's as good a time as any to officially welcome you to the Class 7 dormitory. The pleasure's mine. And seriously, you don't have to make a big deal out of it. Come on, loosen up a little. We're classmates now. Just treat me like one of the gang and we're golden. You sure about that? Alright, one of the gang it is. Feels weird to think of you that way after all this time, though. Well, if you say so. <laughs> I don't think I've got anything to worry about with you. Oh, and if you guys don't mind, I want to get in on the action when you explore the old schoolhouse tomorrow. Gotta get back in the groove with my Arcus again, after all. Huh? A schoolhouse? Who'd want to go to school on their day off? Well, we've got this, uh, this special schoolhouse here. Whoa, really? That sounds kind of cool. I want to come too! <sighs> How did I know you were going to say that? Didn't I just get done telling you how dangerous it is? Oh, you don't have to worry about me. 
As long as I've got Lammy, it'll be easy peasy. And if you didn't take me with you, I'd just break down the door and come after you. I expect you would make good on that promise, too. All right, all right, have it your way. I'll be sure to let you and Crow know when I'm planning on heading into the old schoolhouse tomorrow. But don't just go wandering in there on your own without us, all right? Yes, sir! Oh, I can't wait to see what it's like down there! So exciting! I might not even be able to sleep tonight! It's a labyrinth full of monsters here, not a theme park. <laughs> Looks like I better give my pistols a little TLC tonight. <laughs>